you've been watching this channel and you have been and you have been <laughs> you haven't come on you know andy and i are campers at heart yeah we're not hikers at heart we're campers at heart yeah right? may maybe if we maybe if we lived in a different zone <laughs> um and we get asked all the time because the most people who watch this channel are kind of like us they're out there to get out in the woods do some miles but they're out there to have a good camp experience so yeah. we are going to go through our essential items for a fantastic camp experience because you've hiked all day you got to camp you need to get rewarded you don't want to be miserable <laughs> i mean nobody likes that so some items you might not think of you know we've just learned over years of camping outside that some items if you bring can make the camp experience so much better and we we certainly don't take all these items no often but maybe pieces here and there on every trip we bring at least one of these things yeah so the first one we're gonna get it out of the way the chairs is the camp chair yeah. um we're not even gonna talk about it having a chair at camp drastically changes and improves your camp experience there's no question about it there's not even there's no reason to even talk about it yep camp chair next item next item is and this is a winter item mm. is down pants yep yeah if you, i mean nobody wants to get to camp and then immediately go in your sleeping bag or tent or tent or whatever yeah so and i don't know why it took us so long to get down pants yeah i mean if you're hanging around sitting around the campfire want to cook hang out with friends you know if it's cold it can get pretty annoying so get yourself some some nice yeah insulation. you can get cheap ones on ebay or on ebay on amazon just get some get some winter down pants if you're going winter camping yep um kind of like a no-brainer uh next item and this is something we never bring but i've seen people bring it is a nice pour over coffee situation huh. <laughs> and I, I'm always very jealous of people that have them, and I wouldn't take it on a multi-day trip. On an overnight, I'm considering bringing a pour-over coffee. Yeah, they make some cool, like little, like pour-over devices. Yeah, MSR's got one. Yeah, David Gray kind of got me on that. It's a lot of cleanup. It's a lot of cleanup, but it does make the camp experience better. Sure. I mean that it, it tastes better than instant coffee. Yep. Um, so some sort of pour-over setup. Continuing with the the cooking theme, this is something Andy picked up, and we've been bringing is a cooking grate. Oh yeah, um, and just for fun cooking. It, it, usually, when we're having a, when we're out there to have a good camp experience, we're bringing fun food. So meat, vegetables, yep. fresh food, and how much? Do you know how much that thing weighs? Uh, probably like three or four ounces. It's a it's the it's a titanium um, it's a titanium cooking grate. Got it on mass. It's, it's Vargo, right? It's a Vargo one. It yeah. folds. It's pretty sweet. 30, 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, a couple ounces. You can build a fire, get some coals, throw that grate up there, and it's so much easier to cook things. On. Even if you're just wrapping stuff in foil, yeah, just setting it on there, you get an, an even coal base. It's just three ounces. It makes the camp experience much better. Um, another thing that I'm going to say that we brought on our last trip in the summer that makes your camp experience way better is ice. <laughs> <laughs> Ice and cold beverages. That's just for like a dumb um, overnight. Yeah, dumb overnight in the summer. Bring some sort of insulated bag <laughs> with ice in it. We did it at Zaleski last time. It was fantastic. I yeah. mean, it was great. We had some bourbon drinks on the big bourbon ice cubes. It was fantastic. Yep. Um, another item that can really make um, your camping experience much better and we don't ever I have one I bring it um, Sam's got one now a, a small like lantern or Lucy light yeah yeah or a candle yeah Just some other light source other than a headlamp yeah it's, so it's, you're not all blinding each other yeah it's nice to have on now I've got um, it's up here you can't see it in the shot I've got a goal zero little mini lighthouse mini and it also doubles as a yeah. USB charger so I bring that sometimes, only on an overnight. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, like you can just uh, like put a trekking pole in the ground and hang the lantern off of it. So it's just nice to have a, a light source that's not someone's headlamp. Yeah. So that when you're all just hanging out, you can just turn the lamp on and just have that be your light. Um, and they're not they're not heavy. I mean, the, the Lucy light is a couple ounces. So yeah. just some sort of small light source. Um, now the next item will be a little bit climate dependent, but something that can really make your camp experience better is having a sturdy pair of camp shoes. <laughs> a sturdy pair. Yeah, a nice, comfortable pair of camp shoes that maybe you can hike in if you need to. 
Um, it's just if you're if you're hiking all day, especially if your feet get wet, yeah. it's so nice to get to camp and take off wet shoes and socks and air your feet out. So we have these Shama sandals. Sometimes I've just brought flip flops. But just having a nice pair of sh- shoes you can wear yeah. when you get done hiking, it, it does make the camp experience much better. Yeah, for sure. Especially in, in, even in the wintertime, if your feet get soaking wet yeah. or something like that, yeah. you know, having something dry to change into. But just from a comfortability standpoint, like you're hiking all day on wet shoes, even though it's warm outside, it is kind of nice to get into some uh, some type of camp shoe and air your feet out, get so dry. Nice. Uh, and we have light ones. The Shama sandals are pretty good. Yeah. Um, they're, they're light. So camp shoes. Um, next item is is probably an item that most people never think to bring and you might not ever need it, but something we've been bringing the last like two years, not on every trip, but on a lot of trips is we bring a dedicated camp tarp. Yeah, it's, Obviously, it, it if there, depends. If there's a 0% chance of rain, you don't have to worry about it. But if it rains and you're at camp, I mean, everyone just goes and sits in, in their shelter. Yep. Right. Um, or you, I don't know, you sit outside in your rain jacket, but for 10 ounces, 15 ounces, you could bring a camp tarp. It's easy to set up. And that, like, check out our Red River Gorge video with David Gray and Travis. Like, we had a camp tarp both nights yep. and it made a big difference. Um, yep. It's just, you can set it up so you can still be under the fire and still be cooking and eating and hanging out even when the rainstorm. Yeah. And, uh, we brought those with Jeremiah and backpacking with Jason. We brought two. Yeah, we brought two I there. Mean, we went out. I'll throw a link up right now. Uh, we went to Zaleski. It was 35 degrees and raining for the entire time. We had two camp tarps. And we had a perfect camping experience. It was great. Um, yeah. We were unaffected by the rain. Yep. So if you're going solo, maybe that's a lot of extra weight to carry. But a, a dedicated camp tarp, you don't have to get an expensive one. I, You know, you can get a tarp for like 50 bucks on Amazon. You It'll can, be heavy. No, you can get, yeah, I mean, you can get nylon tarps for pretty cheap. You can get like, a, go to Walmart and get a blue tarp. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just some sort of dedicated camp shelter that's not where you're sleeping will be nice. Yeah. Um, so another one, um, you know our stance on this. If you want to have a good camp experience and specifically if you want to have a good fire, <laughs> bring fire starters. I'm not going to say which ones, But fire starters are crucial nine times out of 10. If it's the summer, it's dry, you don't need them. But most of the time, having some fire starters can make your life so much easier. Yeah, you know, screwing around fire nonstop. Uh, The next item is something Andy and I used to carry. And we don't carry it anymore, but we probably should have in some situations. What is it? It's a camp sink. Oh. Or some sort of some sort of large gravity filter water filtration system. So yeah, well that was a weird way of explaining it, but I think yeah. what you're trying to say is gravity filter for your water. Yeah, a gravity Just filter. Yeah, yeah, you're lazy. right. You're right. Yeah, but also, so he has what's called a camp sink. It's yeah. a 20 liter bag. Yeah, it's and you just, massive. You just and if you're going with like two or three people, you just go down the creek, you fill that thing up, you hang it from a tree branch, you take a Sawyer Mini. And you run a line off or of it. Or it can be any. It can be anything. It can be any and you inline ma- filter. you can create a gravity filter out of that. And it's so nice. You don't have to filter water. And it's good for a group setting too. Perfect for group got, setting. It's it's a massive amount of water. And then you just let gravity do its work. And you always have water ready to go. Yeah. So um, a gravity, I guess, gravity filter setup is another great thing that can make your camp experience better. Because you don't have to like, you just set the thing, go and come back and get your water. So yeah. We don't do that enough. Um, another item we bring a lot now that we didn't used to bring is, is a saw. And by we, I mean you. Yeah, saw's gotten some use. Um, kind of goes with the fire starter. Yeah, just making it, it's just a, a, a more efficient way to process firewood. Um, yeah. And it makes life a little bit easier, especially when you know, like on our quick overnights, when we know like we want to have a nice campfire. And you can afford some weight because you're not going to be hauling it around for days. Saw is nice to be able to process. And in the winter now, I think a saw might be essential, potentially. Yeah, if you want to have a fire. If you want to have a fire, and I think having a fire when you're winter camping is essential. Um, I think a saw, and we, we brought on our last trip, 
Um, especially if you feel like four guys or girls, you have a bunch of people take turns using the saw. You can process wood and have a much bigger fire. Yep. So saw. All right. Final item. This is a controversial item. Yeah. We used to bring it. I, I, and would, I will defend this item. No, I think I don't want to bring it in. I, we haven't brought it in a few years. So there's a caveat. Okay. Bring the hate. I'm going to say Bluetooth speaker. Here's the deal. If you're camping somewhere and there's nobody else around you, I think Bluetooth speaker's fine. Yeah, I mean, the argument is that... Uh, if there are people around you, You're going to ruin other people. Moves. Yeah. I, yeah if, there, if you're camping a site and there are even people like 100 yards away from you, don't do a Bluetooth speaker. Don't do it while you're hiking. We yeah. Used to do that. Um, no, I, you know, I don't want to pass people that are like just bumping tunes either. But I think at camp, yeah. like I, <sighs> if you're being respectful and there aren't people around you and and you want to have some music playing, yeah, it's fine. Fire hanging around around the campfire. Just have some tunes. You brought the ice. You can have a cocktail. This is like you got a big fire going. You're sitting in a chair. Maybe this should just be like how to car camp while you, yeah. while backpacking. <laughs> really is how to backpack um, car camp. But I think <laughs> I think a Bluetooth speaker, if you're respectful, it's on the table. And I think once again, if, if you got a bunch of people, it's it's always nice to have some. Music. You know, I I remember a great time like years and years ago before YouTube. Uh, you know, me, you, and Sam were at Laurel Highlands. We're at the top of a mountain, and uh, you know, we're big OSU football fans. Yeah, we, we listened to the Ohio State. We game. were listening to an Ohio State game on the Bluetooth speaker while we were having lunch. It's there great. Was nobody around yeah. us. Totally respectful, but. I, they are completely controversial, yep. and and I don't want to have our camp experience ruined by somebody bumping music, and I don't want to ruin anybody yeah. else's experience too. So like we try to stay away from it. But it can be used, yeah, properly. Yes. So that's it. Those are our items to have a, a chill brothers outdoor level camp experience. <laughs> and and we Bring certainly them. don't haul all that crap. We don't it. haul it all, but we take at least one of those items on every single trip. Yep. So that's it. Let us know your favorite items for camp. And we will see everybody on the next one. Yes.